What's going on guys? So I did a test of this sluice over the weekend. Found some decent gold, not obviously not any I can get rich off of, but um sorry I'm shaking. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad today. But <clears throat> the unit did really well. Um the scrubber talon scrubber talon U R U R setup worked pretty good, I think. A lot of the a lot of the gold, I think, was trapped in this zone here. I gotta figure out, I'm getting gold actually behind this plate here that kind of diverts water down the back of the sluice here, so I might have to seal that off or something, and that's what holds my mats in, so maybe I could just not run that plate, I don't know, or just flip this around and run it like a reverse ramp riffle, I, I don't know. If anybody has any tips on that, let me know. I might need to put some miner's moss over that UR too. Um, I don't think I need a water smoothing flap there like the gold hog units have, but that might be an option too. Um, one thing I found was it worked best with the reducer in it. So it still worked with just the one inch dumping into the box, but the amount of pressure um, was greater with that reducer in it as you'd probably expect. Um, I was actually getting one inch rocks that were stuck in the current coming up this ramp box here, or the ramp in the box. Um, I was just getting one inch rocks and I think there was even one closer to two inches that was swimming around up here in the current and it probably took it a good 10 seconds easily to drop out of the back so I think I got pretty good water flow going on there and I dropped it unfortunately this leg back here you can see is bent I might have to just bend it back a little bit um, and I'm running just a straight coupler back here and you can see in this next video the hose was leaking a little bit but it didn't seem to affect how it ran and it's just kind of gorilla taped on there um, I just wrapped gorilla tape around the pipe fitting and then jam the hose over it so that's not too bad um, for what it did but I'm really impressed with the gold hog matting it's I think it's one of the best things out there and I can't believe people are still running riffles and expanded metal and miners moss and stuff like that I guess if it works for you great but I ran nine five gallon buckets full to the rim huge to the rim anyway um, <laughs> ran nine nine buckets maybe ten I kinda lost count um, through this without doing a cleanup on the mats so that's pretty good and everything was exchanging in the mats well and I found a decent amount it's not like an ounce or a gram or anything but I don't have a scale to weigh it but it seemed really um, to perform a lot better I probably got at least triple the amount I was seeing with just a regular riffle and carpet and stuff like that in my old sluice um, I'm definitely getting a lot better results now so quite happy with it actually so now on to the video of it running and then stay tuned at the end there's a few pictures of the gold I recovered they're blurry my camera doesn't like to focus on gold apparently so sorry about that but you can at least see a little bit of what I'm getting there. So anyway, onto the video.